how did you handle like your your success when all that stuff started started to, uh, to well, happen? Well, I had a there. Okay, so uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, there was a a time where I didn't handle it right. I mean, in terms of like uh, I did the fame and uh, and, and and or a little bit of money or this and that or blah blah. blah every yeah. other thing that come with it. Uh, mm -hmm. there, uh, it, I, I started dealt, I did get deeper into like drugs and stuff and it's something I don't yeah. do anymore but it was something that I did do and uh, it just started getting uh, it hit me in a way where like I was just like oh man I'm just invincible or whatever the fuck I was thinking and I was doing a lot of crazy partying and, mm -hmm. um, but uh, also at the same time it made me feel like you know like I said like uh, made me feel like really legitly inspired to be doing what I'm doing so I had two work I, I was going through uh, two uh, uh, one was like kind of like a little dark and one was like a little ah oh, dude I'm, I'm doing well in life and so I was kind of like teetering with both sides of the coin and yeah yeah exhausting <laughs> that shit was exhausting yeah it's a it's a confusing time yeah you know it just sucks when we you just have this like yeah you know, like, like like your dream and then this whole other thing you didn't expect to come in it comes in and you don't know how to deal with it you uh, know yeah it's fucking uh, crazy but uh it is what it is but you know what can you do same you know, i mean i i fell on my face you know <laughs> it's, how, it's how we learn you know it's like fuck yeah. dude because i mean deep down in part in in our hearts we're just like we just look back and oh man i'm still that loser kid from high school and like now <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just I just wanted to have started a band, and now, holy shit! Now, now we're I'm on tour of Pantera, and yeah, you know, it's yeah. like, how do you, how do you deal with that? It's, you, you know, you just deal with it when it, you have to deal with it when it, the time comes, and it's kind of a, kind of someone throwing a snowball at your face, and you're like, well, what? And you're like, well, go ahead, and you're like, go ahead, what? And you're like, go ahead. You're like, fuck, and you're like, you don't know what go ahead means because, yeah. you know, you, you don't have the tools as an adult or like a young adult to like, exp to like go, I know how to deal with this. And you don't, yeah. you don't. Yeah. You know? Some people do deal with it right and some people, you know, move forward with life unscathed by like things like what we were talking about. And some people yeah. like us, maybe we just fall on our face, but that's yeah. okay. You know, you just get up and you just fucking trudge along and yeah. just move along. Move. Yeah, move along. Yeah, what was your favorite tour you did? Pan Pantera. Man, you went on tour. Pantera. I was with Pantera, and my birthday is the same birthday, at, not the same year, but the same uh, month and uh, day as uh, Dimebag. So when I was on tour, of course, our same birthdays, and it was oh. mayhem. So imagine, like we were just all the shit we're talking about with Dimebag on the side, going, "Dude, right now." I'm oh like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> it wow. Was, yeah. Uh, you, you not only saw him, but you hung out with him. You went on tour with him. Hung out, same birthdays, uh, on their bus, uh, three tours. Uh, three. 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 Three full-blown tours. Uh, fucking mayhem. Arenas and, and, like, just crazy shit. And, and, and they're, like, fucking drunk, awesome, belligerent, fucking uh, crazy Cold. people. And, uh, and and I'm here, like, going, like, just like you, like, you know, like we were talking about. I was like, dude, I was just, like, fucking going crazy. I was I'm a fanboy. But, like, yeah. at the same time when I played, I, I played, you know. Yeah. And uh, but, but after, I was like, hey. <laughs> you know, I was like, I just wanted to hang out. Wow. You know, it was a crazy time. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Pantera and Psalm. Yeah. And, that, and, and, uh, and also, like, you... It's crazy that you experience something that like no one else can experience ever because yeah. because it's the, of course that's crazy yeah like the, how you could look back at those those experiences. Well, I have a real quick story because when I was a teenager uh, uh, in the early, uh, early um, I believe late eighties, early nineties, something early nineties, Pantera was opening up for Skid Row at Irvine Meadows. Yeah. yeah, this was a real thing. Yeah, they, you know, and the Skid Row was huge, and Pantera, and they were doing a signing at uh, Tower Records or somewhere, and I was a fucking teenager, and I have a picture, you know, um, back then, and and I, and and I was shaking, and and, yeah. and uh, someone, one of my friends, go, dude, I'll take a picture, and then it was Dimebag and uh, Vinny signing, and and they're like, whatever they're doing, they're like doing this or whatever, yeah, and I'm like. Like this, and um, like I like I have the picture with my parents, but 
I showed that picture to Vinny in Dimebag. I go, check it out, dude. When I was touring with him. Wow. And they were like, oh, shit, that's cool. You know? That's I, they cool. get a million of those, obviously, but... I, I was like, no, no, I, I was, I'm a true fan. Uh, you yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah, so. I just want you to like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is my badge. <laughs> exactly. Dude, what a trip, man. Yeah. Like when one moment you're a fan, the next you're in it. 